It cannot be doubted, disputed, or refuted that Madison here clearly was against sanctuary cities, counties, and states. Under such an organization, it is evident that it would be in the power of the states individually to pass unauthorized laws and to carry them into complete effect anything in the Constitution and laws of the United States to the contrary notwithstanding. This would be a nullifying power in its plenary character, and whether it had its final effect through the legislative, executive, or judicial organ of the state would be equally fatal to the uh, to the con- uh, constituted relation between the two governments. So he says, look, if you say that states can absolutely nullify at any time any federal law, that is going to destroy the relationship here. And that makes no be- that makes no respect to the supremacy clause. Madison goes on to explain, should the provisions of the Constitution as here reviewed be found not to secure the government and rights of the states? So now he's going to talk about it. He's going to say, look, You can declare a law unconstitutional, but if the government, the federal government, starts to get wildly out of control, should the provisions of the Constitution here reviewed be found not to secure the government and the rights of the states? So if the Constitution does not limit the federal government and secure the right of the states against usurpations and abuses on the part of the United States, the final result, okay, here it is, this is his writing, the final result within the purview of the Constitution lies in an amendment of the Constitution according to a process applicable by the states. That is the Article 5 Convention. Here Madison says, if the Constitution is not able to control the federal government properly, and if there are usurpations by the federal government, the last resort within the Constitution is an Article 5 Convention of States. It almost sounds, he does not explicitly say this, it almost sounds like Madison is saying, I wonder why we haven't had one of these already. Later on here, Madison goes on uh, to describe Once you've tried that, once you've tried, once the system is dying and usurpations at the federal level are absolutely out of control and you have tried to do an Article 5 convention and it still is out of control, there's one thing left. Here's what he says. And in the event of a failure of every constitutional resort, remember, the last resort for the states was an Article 5 convention, the last constitutional resort. And in the event of a failure of every constitutional resort, an accumulation of usurpations and abuses rendering passive obedience and non-resistance a greater evil than resistance and revolution, there can remain but one resort, the last of all, an appeal from the canceled obligations of the constitutional compact to original rights and the law of self-preservation. This is the ultima ratio under all governments, whether consolidated, confederated, or a compound of both. And it cannot be doubted that a single member of the union in the extremity supposed, but in that only, would have a right as an extra or ultra constitutional right to make the appeal. In other words, he goes, guys, the last resort is to self-preservation, the ultimate right of the people to throw off their current government and create a new one. Remember what they said? Governments long established should not be changed for light and transient causes. He says here, it needs to be to a point where passive obedience and non-resistance are a greater evil than resistance and revolution. This is major language. And he says, I don't think a single state could ever make that appeal. So here he's going, look, If the way the states went about it is to seek three quarters of the states to assent to one state claiming a law is unconstitutional and three quarters to agree to that and then the laws change, he goes, well, we've already got that. That's called the amendment process. That's not what you're trying to do. You're trying to have one state make a law nullified and the law of no effect until three quarters of the states reverse that decision so here madison is saying look 
three, one state cannot overturn the law and then require three quarters of the state to reinstate that law. One state can uh, protest and three quarters can join and overturn the law. Do you see how that's a difference there? The question is, which direction is it going? Are three quarters of the states required to impinge on the one or are three quarters of the states required to assent to the one and impinge on the feds? That's what Madison's saying. The, the Article 5 states convention process is three quarters assenting to overturn a law, not one state assenting to overturn a law. It cannot be doubted, disputed, or refuted that Madison here clearly was against sanctuary cities, counties, and states. Clearly was against. Yes, states can decide if the law is unconstitutional. They clearly cannot just flat out override the law of the land. Being unconstitutional notwithstanding, Madison's ultimate point is and his ultimate position is so clearly understood yes a state, a state can determine if a law is unconstitutional yes a state can enter protest of a law no a state cannot invalidate the law even if it is unconstitutional in the eyes of that state its job the state's job is to rally support by the other states for the unconstitutionality and enact either an amendment by Congress or an amendment by by state convention to overturn the congressional law. That is his point. It is beyond clear from this letter and it cannot be mistaken. I hope this brings a little bit of clarity. I have to say, Madison is my favorite founding father. But on this, I think I disagree slightly with them, which bothers me. I am a little more leaning towards the favorability of sanctuary cities and states, even for those sanctuary states that do drugs and, and immigration. Because Second Amendment to me is pretty important, and I'd like to see my state be a Second Amendment sanctuary. But it is a dangerous, a dangerous track. I lean favorable towards sanctuary states. Uh, cities, counties, and states. Madison did not. And that is the big difference. I hope that makes a little more sense. Thank you for watching that video. If you like that, remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe right up here. For other great content, take a look at our recommended video over here and see our, our playlist right over there. Remember to go to www.dustyfriday.com for great memes, news, videos, and my podcast available on all major platforms. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.